Hello folks, Rob here, back again with another disc dive video for you. Today, working on something I've been trying, I've tried it a few times. I'm gonna try and see what is the biggest cell I can make. Going for one big cell right in the middle and seeing how big I can make it. Before I started this video, I heated this bed under the heat lamp with the plastic wrap on top. I heated it up to about 130 degrees. Uh, and then I pulled the plastic wrap off and it, that makes it a lot more runny and it should make the cells bloom a lot faster. I did do a video on hot beds versus cold beds a little while ago. There's the link in the corner of your screen right now if you want to check that out. So here we go. Just one poke right in the middle. Now I'm not going to limit myself to that. I'm going to poke once more in the middle as well, but all further pokes into this bed are going to happen within that one cell that's developing. I'm just poking a few times right around the edge of this big cell that's blooming here. And as you can see, I've got it under the heat lamp so that it will expand quickly. I'm going to let the heat lamp develop this for a little while longer. And here is that big old beauty. Looks pretty cool once you zoom in on it. Uh, I wasn't really content with just this though. So I busted out the uh, poker and I like, I want to do some streaks outward and inward on this thing. See if I can make that look kind of cool. This is something people do with glue beds a lot. Not, I don't see a lot of people do this with flow trawl beds, but uh, it is another great way you can sort of manipulate the bed to get whatever results you're looking for. So now that I've got this big cell, I want to make sure it's centered up. So. I'm going to hang this laser above the bed and try center that laser dot right in the middle. And then when I put the disc in, I just put this laser in the center when I put the disc in and that should center it up nicely. There we go. That's in now. And here's the result. Pretty cool stuff. I do wish that I had used a disc without an overmold so that I could really get the edge. That's the only thing that's not really showing is the edge uh, of this disc where I did all that work with the poker. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Just a quick one. If you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to see more stuff like this. Leave a comment if you have a question and See you next time. Until then, happy dying, folks. See you later.